Good morning, I'm Howard Monroe with your morning digital news brief for Saturday, November 19th. Happening today, the National Dog Show continues at the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center in Oaks, Montgomery County. It includes canine performing tricks and obstacle courses. The show, which is hosted by the Kennel Club of Philadelphia, runs through tomorrow. It features 1,800 top dogs from 194 breeds. 28,000 runners are participating in today's half marathon. It's all part of Philadelphia Marathon's series of weekend races. The half marathon started at the Ben Franklin Parkway and ends at the Art Museum. The Rothman Orthopedics 8K is also taking place, and so is a kids' fun run. It all leads up to the full Philadelphia Marathon tomorrow morning. And breaking news from overnight, a man has been shot and killed in North Philadelphia. It happened near Susquehanna Avenue and Howard Street. Police found the 22-year-old victim suffering from eight gunshot wounds throughout the body. No word yet on a motive or possible suspects. And Tammy Seuss is here with a look at your next weather forecast. Hey, Tammy. Well, Howard, it is a cold one out there. That's what we're going to be tracking next. We're going to be looking at wicked cold weather this weekend. The marathon weather and a dry, sunny stretch and a storm around Thanksgiving time. So we do have high pressure in place. It's a breezy cold day. There's another front that's off to the west. That comes through overnight and triggers a flurry. Until then, we have plenty of sunshine and cold out there. Now, tonight, late, that's when we could see a flurry. 11.30, 12.30, 1.30 in the morning. The front comes through, bringing even colder air for tomorrow with wind chills that start the day in the teens. It will be breezy. It will be sunny with a few clouds up into the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos. We get into tomorrow afternoon. It's just plain old cold. Now, we go into Monday, those winds turn more to the south and the west. That's good news. That starts to warm us back into the 40s. Best chance of precipitation? Well, we could see that flurry overnight into tomorrow morning. We're dry for travel Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but it is late Thursday night and Friday that we're eyeballing a storm that could move into the region, bringing us rain. So travel for next week, perfect on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Cloudy on Thursday, but it will be dry. It'll be late at night and into Friday that we see rain, and that will mean that the roads are going to be a little bit slippery, maybe even some delays at the airport. For today, 41 in Philadelphia, 46 down the shore, and 38 in the Lehigh Valley. Wind chill between 25 and 35 degrees. Tonight, we drop to 28 in Philadelphia, 30 down the shore, and 21 in the Lehigh Valley. Could see a passing flurry in the Lehigh Valley, and the wind chill overnight will dip into the teens across the area. Tomorrow, we reach 38 degrees, but in the morning when the runners start running for the marathon, it will be 28 degrees with a wind chill in the teens. We drop to 23 for our Sunday night, back up to 45 on Monday with sunshine, and then we climb into the low 50s for Tuesday and Wednesday, near 50 on Thanksgiving. Clouds move in, and we're looking at showers making their way into the area on and off throughout the day on Friday. Howard? All right, thank you, Tammy. And remember, you can always get the latest news and weather right here at CBSPhiladelphia.com. I'm Howard Monroe. Have a great day.